Grand Missale lives on a boat. Ahoy, 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 ho. On the boat, it happens sometimes that we have a lot of fresh fruit and veggies and are not always able to use it all in good time. And since I do not believe in waste, I take the trouble to dry it. The amount of extra work is really not that much and by the time the dry product is consumed, I have saved a lot of preparation work and cooking time. The dried food is healthy. Therefore, in times of sickness or inconvenience, it is ideal to feed and fill. The recipes and possibilities are limitless. It is just a few principles that apply. Two watery produce do not dry in a leather. Substance need to be added. Two solid food become rock hard. Juicy stuff should be added to get a leather. To make longer usable snack, make oat oats bars. Combine solids, juicy, oats and ground coconut. The solids bind it, the juicy leathers it, the oats and coconut keep it edible. My aim is to dry the food to preserve. If you want it soft and chewable leather, you use it at that stage. When leathery, I cut it with a scissor in big blocks or small strips, squares, triangles, spaghetti, in order to be able to identify the different tastes. Once the food is properly dry, I wrap it in plastic and vacuum seal it with the back of a hot knife. That, admittedly, is a tricky job. Then I store it in sealed containers. When I want to use it as food, just add water and cook on slow heat till soft. But it will mostly disappear as a delicious, chewable snack. The drying process. I use any flat tray. In the bottom goes kitchen paper towel to absorb excessive juice. Then a gauze-like cloth, mossy net, lace curtain, etc. Thinly spread out the food, maximum 5 mm thick. Cover with another cloth to keep the flies away and put out in the sun or wind. When the top of the food is wind sealed, it can be turned. Cloth over the food and paper towel over it. If it is not juicy wet, I might not use the second paper towel. Flip it around on a clean tray. Remove the first paper towel, which is now on top, and wet. I tear the cloth off the leather, otherwise it dries it part of the food, as soon as it can. From then on it is a handable product and loose in the cloth. Keep it in the sun, away from rain and flies. Wind, with no sun, also dries. When non-stop rain and humidity invade you, a fan directly on the dryer is advisable. Then, enjoy. We have a collapsible net bought at the street market, which I use as dryer. Ken Neymeyer, who wrote Sailing the Farm, has an extensive description on how to make a solar dryer and a bunch of recipes. It is a book with invaluable information. Definitely worthwhile to get your hands on a copy. How to make sweet strips. Peel and cut cassava in small cubes. Add one orange rind or a handful of kumquats. Add plenty sugar to your taste. Add water to cover cassava. And a bite of chili for me. Cook till very soft. Smash or blend it. Add plenty shredded coconut. Spread out to dry. Grandmommy Sally lives on a boat. Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy.